Hey y'all, this is Rochelle and welcome back to my channel, Rochelle Budgets. Um, it has been a, a while since I've been on here with a cash stuffing video, a weekly expense tracking or a budget setup, but those are coming. Um, I do apologize, but I had a lot of things going on. Um, the beginning or the ending of November, the beginning of December, but I'm back. And today we're going to be doing a cash stuff and we're going to be, um, checking uh emptying out my wallet stuffing my wallet stuffing my cash envelopes stuffing my sinking funds um seeing where we are and yeah so if that's something that interests you then keep watching okay y'all so first things first i just want to remind you all about a free rewards app and it's called fish rewards it's a free shopping app that awards points in exchange for scans for your receipts so you can then redeem those points for gift cards and you have to scan a receipt from a purchase that you've made in the past two weeks so any receipt older than 14 days is ineligible to earn any points so at any given time the app will feature certain brands and products so that you can get bonus points for an eligible purchase the good thing about fish rewards is that you don't have to do any planning to earn you just scan and go i will insert here my rewards uh code so that way you guys can use that and sign up um you don't get you don't start earning any points until you sign up and then you scan your first receipt i just want to make that very clear but i do want to thank you all for using my code and let me just shout those people out who've used my code so i'd like to thank margaret b lee g and melanie a and also angela w for snapping using my referral code and getting yourself some points and also in return allowing me to get some points for using my referral code all right y'all so let's go ahead and take out the money and let's count it so y'all today we're going to be stuffing 914 dollars here is i have my the budget mom cash breakdown sheet it just has the bills quantity and totals you fill this out beforehand while you're doing your pre-budgeting you take it to the bank give it to the teller and they would then pull the denominations and there you go it's as simple as pie so we are supposed to have 914 dollars let's count this up 150 200 20 40 60 81 20 40 60 82 20 40 60 83 20 40 60 84 20 40 60 85 20 40 60 86 10 20 30 40 50 60 so that's 660 is that right hmm y'all let me see let me start over let's start over because i think i did something wrong here so 100 50 200 20 40 60 80 okay i know what i did 300 i think 20 40 60 80 4, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 7, not nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All righty. So y'all, I put that in the wrong stack. Let's do it like this. Okay, so $914 is what we have for today that we will be stuffing. Let's move this down some. Sorry about this glare over here, y'all. I'm trying to figure it out. 
All right, so let's go ahead. Let's move everything out of the way so that we can get situated here. So first I want to look and see what I have in my wallet. And y'all, this is my Moterm. I think this is the A7 size. Whatever size it is, I will link it in the description box below. So that way, if you want to check it out, I got this off of Amazon and it was no more than $50, but I know you can get them off of Macari, Poshmark, probably eBay, but I got this off of Amazon. It was just easier for me and that's just how I went with it. Okay, and I love it also. So nothing in, and nothing in eating out, nothing in gas, nothing in groceries. We do have a little bit in miscellaneous. Let's see what we have. $2, I'm gonna put this over here to the side. You guys know that's gonna go in my $1 savings challenge, nothing in giving, uh, nothing in deposit, and then I have my receipts that I need to scan for my fetch rewards. Okay, so let's flip in my budget planner, my Happy Planner Classic Budget Binder, and let's see where we are. Y'all, I had to do this in a hurry, and if it seems like I'm rushing, it's because I am. Because this early in the morning, I'm doing this before work, so I've got to get this ball on the road, or this show on the road, and we got to get stuffing. So everything that I have here, I'm gonna zoom in some. Everything that I have here, the balances and the totals, um, if they're not totaled out, I will total those out at a later time and I'll update y'all in a future video. But I do have coming a weekly expense tracker, tracking, this is gonna be a compilation of previous weeks so I can show you where I was to where I am now. And then I will have my budget set up. I know it is December the 14th, but it's coming this week. So come back to check me out. Check me out. All right, y'all, so for gas, we didn't have anything, well, let's see. I have them out of order. I try to put everything in alphabet, al alphabetized. So that's why, that's how I have it here in my wallet. I didn't write it out like this, but going forward, I will. So for eating out, I said we're gonna have $75, and that's three 20s, 110, and a five. So three 20s, two, three. 110 and 15 for 75. So let's see, 20, 40, 60, 75 in eating out. Yeah, I do like this little wallet here. Um, it is a little bit bulky because I um, have my receipts in here and stuff like that, and I have my credit cards in here, but I do like it though. Gas, I said $100, and that was what, 520s? One, two, three, four, five, 20, 40, 60, 81. I will need more gas this week also because my daughter does have a cheer competition this weekend and we will be going to Houston and I'm driving my husband's truck. So I'm gonna need more gas. Um, I know I will. Eating out, did I already do eating out? Okay, groceries, groceries is getting 150 and that's 100, one $100 bill, and then 150, so 150. And y'all, I will have to pay myself back also because it's now Tuesday morning and I have already done our grocery shopping, so that will be going back. Um, let's see, I don't have, I didn't put anything for miscellaneous, oh yes I did, miscellaneous $25, so 120 and 15 so 25 but yeah y'all so i will have to pay myself back because i have already done some shopping giving is getting five dollars did i not put that down let's see how did i divide that up Where is giving? Oh, five ones. So one, two, three, four, five. I like to put my fresh ones at the front and then the not so fresh ones at the back. So one, two, three, four, five for giving. And the reason why I put this here in my wallet, I decided to add 
this um, envelope is because, you know, whenever I do go out and I see someone in need, I'm always like, I'm pulling from other, um, that's it y'all, for my cash envelope or my everyday spending. And it is getting more bulky too. Um, the reason why I added that one is because I find myself pulling from other envelopes and I didn't like that. So I just said, why not just allot myself $5 a week. Let's do this y'all. Let's take this out. Allot myself $5 a week or $10 I have or much. That way I have a, an envelope dedicated to giving. All right. So that is that. So how have y'all been doing? It's, it's been a while. It's been a minute, y'all. And thank y'all for being so patient and waiting on me and still subscribing and watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. Okay. But how's everybody been doing? Y'all, I am going to move this sinking funds breakdown out of the way. I'm going to put it to the side and I'll reference it over to the side here. But let's see. I need to take out a pen. Okay, so that way I can update my categories. All right, y'all. So let me get myself situated. Okay, so we are now going to stuff my sinking funds envelopes, all right? And if you guys don't know, sinking funds is just, let me zoom in some. Sinking funds are just uh, short term, well they could be long term, but they're a short term or long term funds that you want to save up for that you know is coming up in the near future, okay? So you can, I believe you can have short term sinking funds and long term sinking funds, all right? So, Anniversary, we're not stuffing anniversary. Anniversary doesn't have anything in it. Basketball, we're not stuffing basketball. This go around, um, I don't know. We'll probably start back stuffing basketball in the new year in January. Okay, so beauty. Let's see what beauty has. So beauty has 10, 20, 35. And we are stuffing $10. So now beauty has 10, 20, 30, $45. So, oh, I haven't been on here in a month, y'all. 12, 14 plus 10. Now that's $45. Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, entire month. Oh my goodness. Well, has it been a month since I've been on here or has it been a month since I've done the cash stuffing? That's a difference. So it's probably right. I got to get another. I love these cash envelopes, but when I'm filming it, it's really tough putting the, putting the budget sheet tracker in there because it's so tight. I wish they could have been just a little bit wider. Okay. So, um, birthdays, we are stuffing birthdays. Birthdays only has $20 in it. And birthdays is getting $100. And I broke that down into 520. So, one, two, three, four, five. Because my son's birthday is coming up in January. January the 26th. So, now we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20. So... 12, 14 plus 100. Now we have 120. And you guys will see where I added some additional sinking funds because time does not wait for anyone. All right, so let me go ahead. Let's go ahead and try to do this. So leftover was 35 and we now have 45. 
Birthdays had 20, and so now we have 120. Okay, I just put that there to the side, because if I don't do it now, y'all, I'll be on here next week, and it's like, oh, I still haven't updated it. Okay, so car maintenance. Let's see what car maintenance has. Should be 95. 20, 40, 60, 80, 95. And car maintenance is getting 25, so that is 120 and 15. So now we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10. Wait, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 15, 20. So is that right? 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, 120. See y'all, um, this one says I last stuffed on 1119. So that's not right. When I said I hadn't been back on here in a month, well, almost a month. So 120. Car maintenance had 95. And we're now at 120. Okay. So the reason why I said that that's not right is because it looks like what I'm thinking is I did not stuff, I don't stuff all of my sinking funds every, every pay period. So I could have one with different dates. So it's not necessarily true that I haven't come on here or haven't stuffed since 1119. I just didn't stuff that envelope on that particular day. Okay, so next we're on to cheer. And cheer is supposed to have 30, 10, 20, 30. And we are giving cheer $50. That's two 20s and one 10. So now cheer has 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So let's update this. 12, 14 plus 50. And now we have 80. So this is going to go for or be used this weekend coming up when we go to Houston. We have a two-day competition and my daughter does high school cheer and competitive cheer. We are we had a two-day competition this weekend, this past weekend, and we have another one, um, but that was here locally. We have our another one that we have always before the weekend before Christmas and it is in Houston so now we have 80 so this is going to be used for food um, any apparel sweatshirts or t-shirts that she may like things like that okay and of course uh, I'm not just going to use $80 if I need to pull more I'll pull more from another envelope that I have like miscellaneous or something in my everyday carry okay date night is not getting anything and date night should have 20 bucks 10 20. even though we're not going to stuff them i'm also I, I will still count them okay debt is getting stuffed and let's see what debt has that's supposed to have 95 let's count it 20 40 60 80 95. so debt is getting 20 dollars, and that is 120. Why is my money upside down? Okay, so let's count it. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 15. So let's update the tracker. 12, 14 plus 20. Was that 115? Yeah. Okay, so. 95 in the books, 115. I don't know, I was thinking about it. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if I started back my cash stuffing in the uh, beginning of November. 
So that way I could, you know, do a closing out to show y'all what I started with and what I ended up with. I'm not sure, but I'll look at that just to see if I need to do um, like an update. I see people call them cash outs. I'm not sure though. So next one is my husband Dion and he his envelope is getting stuffed and he's getting $20. This is one of the new envelopes that I added. So he's getting 20. This will probably be gone by the next time we stuff and I'm not putting a budget tracker in there. I'll just count that every week. Emergency fund. So let's see, I don't have a tracker in here. I, I thought I said I was gonna put one in here, but see y'all, I didn't do it, so I need to get one. So let's see what we have. 20, 40, 60, 80, 95, 1, 5. So 105, and emergency fund is getting 25, and that's what? 120 and 15. Let's see what we have. How much did I say we had? 105. Let's see. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 15, 20. 5 30 is I don't think that's right y'all let's do this again let's take this out first the 25 20 40 60 80 90 5 1 oh, 5 so we started out with 105 105 we're adding 25 so that should be yeah that's right 130 is what we should have So let's see, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 15, 25, 30. It kind of threw me off, y'all. All right, now we're at Family Fund. This is a new one that I added. So Family Fund is getting $30, and I said that was 120 and 110, so 20, 30. Okay, let's notate this. I'm gonna find a better way to do this, y'all. Leftovers, nothing, and balance is 30. Holidays is, nope, okay, haircut is not getting anything. My husband just got my son's haircut. Holidays, holidays, oh, we don't have anything, so that's leftover zero. Okay, holidays is getting 50, and I said that's one $50 bill, so we have 50. No need to count that, but I do need to update the tracker. Because I took everything out for Thanksgiving. All right. Yeah, I wish these were bigger, y'all. Oh my goodness, I hate to not use these. I spent so much money on them, I hate to not use them though. Okay, household. Let's see what household has, and household is getting stuff today. So household should have 75. 20, 40, 50, 60, 75, and household is getting, let's see, let's update this. We had 75. So that should bring us to 95 because we're adding 20. All right, let's count it. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 95. So sometimes I buy my household products when I'm doing my grocery shopping. Do y'all do that? And so Sometimes it's hard to not, like if you're at Walmart and it's a one-stop shop, it's hard to not buy household items while I'm doing my grocery shopping. Because when I make my list out, I put everything on the list. Let me know how do y'all do y'all's. Um, do y'all separate it out or what do you do? So investments is getting stuff today as well. Investments should have 30, 10, 20, 30. And we are putting 20 in today. And investments is for investing. Like my, um, I want to start a Roth IRA next year. So let's see. 
Um, what do we have? $30. So we should end up with 50. So 20, 30, 40, 50. Oh, let me update this. 12, 14 plus 30. And we now have 50. Y'all, sometimes this is why I don't fill these out or I already have them pre-filled, so I don't have to pull them out. All right. Um, kids is not getting anything this go around. Mom's envelope is not getting stuffed. Nails is not getting stuffed, although I didn't get my nails done today. Um, yeah, make that one make sense. My envelope is not getting anything because I'm getting my nails done. My dog Riders is getting stuff and he's getting $20. He just had a procedure. Well, not a procedure, but yesterday, Monday, he just had um, his Pro Heart 12, and that was for heart to, you know, for heartworms, so that to prevent heartworms. So he's covered for the next 12 months. And then I got a microchipped also. So that set me back. So I think it was like $125. So I'm be saving this. So that way I can put this back into our account. You see, I've added here senior year. My daughter is a junior. She'll be a senior next year. And we went through this with my oldest daughter. I don't want to get caught slipping. So senior year is getting 20 bucks. So we'll put this in here. So there we know there's a lot of fees and a lot of costs that comes with senior year so we just want to be somewhat prepared for that summit summit doesn't have anything and we haven't stuffed this since april um, because summit is over in may and summit is getting twenty dollars plus twenty now the balance is twenty dollars so summit is okay twenty bucks it is our biggest cheer competition uh, of the season it's the end of the year competition. It's always in May. It's always like the first weekend in May. So first full weekend in May. So, um, and we stay on Disney property. It costs a bunch of money. You've got to buy airfare. You've got to um, pay for your stay and then, or your lodging. And then, you know, just food and stuff like that. If you're going to be going to Disney World and you're going to be going to um, Universal if you choose to it is costly so I want to get a head start on that now so that's Summit Texas is not getting anything today I bet y'all like when you gonna start um, saving for taxes we got reserved for that also and then utilities Let's see what we have in utilities 20 30 40 50 so we got $50 in utilities we're adding 20, so that'll make us have 70. Let's fill out the tracker. All right. So now we have in utilities 20, 40, 50, 60, 70. If y'all follow me, y'all, um, just trying to put a plug in here. I do have another channel and it is a planning channel and it is called Plan with Rochelle. So make sure that you check that out. If you like planning, um, uh, if you like washi tape, if you like stickers, check me out on YouTube and also on Instagram. Uh, YouTube is Plan with Rochelle. And no, it's not on YouTube, it's Rochelle's Plans. On Instagram, it's playing with Rochelle. Okay, y'all, so we're done with my sinking funds binder. So let's calculate all of this up, right? So we're going to do so for our leftovers. So 35 plus 20 plus 95 plus 30 plus 95 
plus 20 plus 105 plus 75 plus 30 plus 50. Okay, so it should have nine or 555. Let's do it again. 35 plus 20 plus 95, 30, 95, 20, 105, 75, 30, and 50. So 555, I don't trust myself, y'all. So 555. Let's do our added amount. 10, 100, 25, 50, 20, 20, 25, 30, 50, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 40, 50. Wait, that is not right. Let me get my white out, y'all. So it's be 450. I was trying to put 45. Okay, now let's look at the balance over here. 45 plus 120, 120, 80, 115, 20, 130, 30, 50, 95, 50, 20, 20, 20, 70, 985. I'm going to read, I'm going to do that one again just to check it 45 120 120 80 115 20 130 30 50 95 50 20 20 20 70 985 all righty so let's see so that is what we have in our sinking funds and then i also need to stuff my savings challenge okay so here is my one dollar challenge we have one two so anything that I have left over from the previous week, I will put any $1 bills that I have left over from the previous week, I will put in my $1 savings challenge, my $5 savings challenge. So you see my sheet here where it says I owe $5 and that's broken down into two, no, I owe $10, that's broken down into two five. So let's grab these two because they go back in here. We'll count this up at the end of the year in a few weeks and then my 52 weeks um, challenge so I owe $50 so that is 120 two tens and two fives that's what I took out that I owe so that's 50 so let's count it 20 30 45 50 let's count that again 20 30 45 50 all right so we're just going to put this in here we'll count it later so we're done with those ious and now for this week since we're on week 49 we're going to add 49 dollars so that is two twenties one five and two two dollar bills these are crisp y'all and i did that right because we have no more money in our tray over here so let's count 20 45 46 47 48 49 all righty um the savings challenge i will start this up next year my 52 week saving challenge that will be started next year but y'all that is it for this video i hope you all enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe um don't forget to follow me i was going to say over on instagram but i don't have my instagram set up just yet but i will Check me back out or check me back out. Check me out here later for a uh, Rochelle budgets over on Instagram where I will update y'all. It'll be more interactive, more um, lively face to face um, interaction over on YouTube or on Instagram. But I will let y'all know. I will put a post in the community tab on the community tab um, whenever I 
go live with my Instagram. It shouldn't be too difficult. I just have to sit down and do it. But y'all, this is the end of the cash stuffing. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in my next cash stuffing or my weekly expense tracker or my budget setup. So just be on the lookout. Talk to y'all later. Bye y'all.